Hey guys, it's Andrew Beach here back with another YouTube video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing the holidays, so let's get started. Okay, so the first place that I went to was Dash Bros, and look at how cute this cup is. Um, so I got the candy can, or I guess you could call it mint coffee, and it's super good. Um, and usually they say, like, quotes or, like, things that are, like, kind of inspirational, like, quote-unquote inspirational, I guess. And mine says, you got this, so... Yeah. And that's all that I got from Dutch Bros. So now we're moving on to the thrift store. Which I'm going to be doing the things that I got in this at the thrift store in order of the first thing that I got to the last thing. So the first thing that I got was this these like super cute pair of leggings. They're like snowflakes and they have cute little like reindeer on them. And as you can see with the price tag, these were $5.99. These were actually half off because the thrift store was having a sale. Um, so super cute. Okay, the next thing that I got was this super cute, you can call this a sweater or a long sleeve, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's super cute. So it's this, I'm going to call it a long sleeve shirt. Um, and it, it's just red and it has, I'm guessing it's Rudolph because he has a red nose and he has cute little like glasses. And there's cute little like white hearts on it. And this is super cute. And this was $7.99. This was also half off. And here's the back. It's the same design as the front. Super cute. Okay, the next thing that I got at the thrift store was this shirt. And it's gray. And it says really cute like phrases, I guess you would call it. Um, from like comic books, you know, with the like sound effects like bam, uh, pow, pop. Wham, uh, boom, all that stuff, and it's super duper cute. Again, same design on the back as the front, and this shirt was three nine nine. This was also half off. Love it. Okay, and the next thing that I got was this Goosebumps movie novel book. Now I went to the thrift store with the original intention of getting like the classic, like original, I guess you would call it, books of like from the nineties like the non-reprints or whatever like for example i didn't get this at the thrift store but just for an example like books like this you know from like the 90s they're super old not super old but um <laughs> bad joke bad joke sorry but um i couldn't find any of them so i just got the uh, goosebumps moving up which apparently they're coming out with a second one which i'm very excited about and it has one of the actors from it uh, the new remake for from 2017, so I'm very excited about that. But just a week or two ago, I rewatched the uh, first movie, I guess you could call it, um, and I loved it again. I loved it as always because I love Goosebumps. I love the series. It's amazing. I love the show. I watched all the episodes of the show. I'm trying to get all the books. Um, so I'm very excited. Now, obviously. Oh, and this was 69 cents. No, but no, obviously, I can't read this book to you guys because it's obviously take too long. I'm pretty sure I get copywritten. I'm not sure if you get copywritten from reading books. Um, but, um, I can read you the description of the book. That's all I can do. So, this is the description, I guess. Um, Zach has moved, has just moved from New York City to Maryland. And he's ready to accept his fate. New kid a, in a boring small town. Then he meets Hannah, the girl next door, that every guy dreams of. Unfortunately, Hannah's dad, Mr. Sorry if I pronounced this wrong. Shivers? Is a total nightmare. So when Zach hears Hannah screaming, he rushes over to her, rescue her. And that's when it happens. Zach opens one of Shivers? Locked books and unleashes a monster. When turns out Shivers is really Arl Stein, the famous horror writer, and his monsters are real, including Slappy the dummy who likes to pull people's strings. Now Zach, Hannah, and Stein must team up to get the monsters back where they belong. But first, they have they have to stop Slappy. Now I'm pretty sure Arl Stein. Um, is played by Jack Black, which he's one of my favorite actors. 
because he plays in a lot of movies and like things that I love. And in my opinion, I feel like he was perfect for this role. Basically, the description is basically the movie, but I'm pretty sure. But he helps them. I forgot his name, but this is my favorite character. I forgot his name. <laughs> um, but he's in the team too. He teams up too. <laughs> so they missed that part out. And I'm pretty sure he opened the book and not Zach. But besides that, the description is basically the movie. And I'm pretty sure it's the exact same as the movie, except with more description. And I believe they have an image from the movie. Let me try and find it for you guys. I guess this is what they meant. That's pretty cool. I love that. Sorry, it's very hard to show you guys like inside the books, but that is really cool. I love the bottom right. That is super awesome. And there's also some other books from uh, the movie. Again, this was only 69 cents, which I think is super good. When did this movie even come out? Wait, hang on, let me check. Okay, so I just looked it up, and the Goosebumps movie came out in 2015. So I was 8 when the Goosebumps uh, movie came out. Anyway, so that was it for my haul. Anyway, like this video if you liked it, dislike it. If you disliked it, comment whatever the heck you want. And subscribe if you want to see more videos from moi. Um, but I will see you guys next time. Bye!